This program is brought to you by Emory University. Everything humans know of our planet, we were told had been shared. You lied to us. You've made a grave mistake. Isaac Asimov created the three laws of robotics. That is, he suggested in one of his science fiction works, but it then spread, um, that a robot needs to be inculcated with three ideas. One is, I will never let a human come to harm, and I will never harm a human, and that I will protect myself except insofar as it violates one of the first two. So a, a robot can't protect itself at the expense of a human life or human harm. So what you have often when you have um, science fiction stories or, or movies about um, robots gone bad is how did they go around some of these protections that we assume will build into robots when we create them because what we don't want is robots going around killing human beings. Now there are two interesting ways to get around that. One is to, what about robot soldiers, right? So robot soldiers have to protect you but kill the enemy. So there have been some science fiction that have tried to use that vehicle. But what Transformers does is it, build, is it takes another tack, which is what about alien robots? Alien robots aren't necessarily designed by us to protect us. So they get the opportunity to create good robots and bad robots. I think that this does tap into a very deep fear we have of our creations not being willing to protect us. And I think it, it, is, it is a direct line back to even Frankenstein and the idea of creating even an organic form that goes out of control. And it's the idea that we are creatures that are characterized by our creating things. We are tool-making creatures. We are surrounded at all times by the things we create. Right now, sitting in this room, there isn't a single thing we can look at, we can see, that wasn't created by human beings. Um, and so we always worry that the products of our hands will somehow harm us, hurt us, whether we're talking about global warming or whether we're talking about robotics. And so what Transformers does is it plays on that fear that these created creatures um, are going to come back to haunt us, are going to come back to hurt us. Now these happen to be aliens, but it still plays to that idea that that human beings at least have a conscience or a soul or whatever we want to talk about that we can appeal to or try to get um, uh, access to to try to stop them from doing the wrong thing. But a robot, we're never sure. When artificial intelligence first got underway in its early days, it thought that human mental processing was a very was rational, and that if it could mimic it, um, it could then create um, artificial intelligence that was similar to human intelligence. And what it underestimated at the beginning was the powerful part that our emotional lives and brains play in um, in the way in which we think about the world and even in the way in which we make decisions. And so now you get to the question of how do we create robots? that will somehow think like human beings. And not, by the way, like computers, because we already have computers to think like computers. And maybe we can already create some primitive robots that think like computers. But as we all know, computers do not think like human beings. And so they may be very good at playing chess, but they actually play chess very differently than we play chess. They just can quickly calculate millions and millions of moves while we use something we call intuition or, or sort of a gestalt view of what's going on to not have to go through all the moves that the great chess master knows won't get them anywhere, right? So they can look at a finite number of moves. Whether we will ever be able to create artificial life that can combine that emotional piece um, is, is really a, an interesting question and one that nobody knows the answer to. We don't understand how emotions work in the brain. We don't understand how the limbic system works, which is the seat of the emotions. We don't even understand how the limbic system really interacts with the um, 
prefrontal cortex and other places in the brain where more rational thought is processed. So we certainly can't begin to create that in robots, at least until we understand it in ourselves. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.